Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Armada Thrust. There we go. Transformers Armada Thrust. He's a Decepticon, yay. Take a look at the back of the box. Got that Optimus Prime, which I'm a big fan of, even though it's ugly. Hot Shot, Side Swipe, looks okay. With Minicon Inferno and that oddly positioned, yeah, his transformation very unfortunate good looking jet mode i'm not gonna lie and i like that it does have rotating wings and cool looking firing action it's not too bad comes with this is wave two i think because uh galvatron's in there with optimus armada optimus uh, i like this jet fire dude so just a quick look it has a commemorative series it just came out back in 2002 this is commemorative series three so it, uh... Yeah, something like that. So let's take a look here. Not going to describe that too much. Kind of neat little teams there. It has a uh, side swipe and Armada Optimus Prime, and there's Thrust and Blur, which I did a review on. Scavenger, which I have and don't have anymore. Thundercracker, Galvatron. And good old Armada, Optimus Prime, and Jetfire. Let's look at the jet, because this is actually the best part of these this mode. It just looks great. I am really digging the jet mode. It rolls. It just looks great. Minicon is stored really well. It taxis, has landing gear. Even though the back... <laughs> The back wheels look like tank treads, that's alright, the nose landing gear is looking good. I like the color screen, green, gray, paint on the canopy, the little vent, which I don't, I'm not sure if it's like, I, I don't know of any jet that has that, so I'm going to have to look in that. I'm not in the Air Force, so <laughs> sorry Air Force guys. Maybe you can help me out. Decepticon symbol, and it's really, really well packaged. I like how the Minicon hides that gap over there. And you can see that there's not much undercarriage junk. You can see, you can't tell that the robot extras are there. You kind of can tell that's a chest, but man, the transformation, you wouldn't know that these are legs. Awesome. And unfortunately, yeah, I wish they weren't. And you can see the ugly Minicon's head. And one thing about it is that up here it does fire so let's see if i can make it fire there we go awesome these things are spring loaded kind of neat yeah let's see if i can get it there we go awesome pop the mini con out and i'm going to deduct a half a point because he left with his weird gap not a deal breaker oh the thrusters look great with even that safety orange nice looking jet mode it's solid no undercarriage. I mean, the undercarriage is sleek. And even the molding is great. 8 out of 10 on this one. Alright. So not too bad. Let's go for transformation. As I mentioned before, I like the secret missiles. They're, they're just pegged on. You can just remove them. And I will for now because that will be great. They don't fire. And it's good for transformation. So we're just going to split the legs open. And those are becoming the heel spurs, and that's it for now. Pull, oops, and man, that's the only thing. Be careful when you do this. Rotate, the, there we go. And I'm going to leave that forward for now. And the head actually comes from the nose cone. It's kind of neat. I'm going to retract the nose wheel. All right, arms pop out. And this is what's going to happen. Just retract the nose cone. And yeah, you have the little crotch in the bottom. So go ahead and make fun. Pop the back over here. Bam. Rotate the head. Actually, rotate that. And there we go. And that does become the head. And I do like the head. You can have it as a cone head or whatever. Arms fold down. And I do like that the wings just can get out of the way. So if you want to pose them like that you can I just personally just because I have the option rotate the wings down oh, there we go and yeah I'll take that out of the way don't need that for now good awesome only thing I don't like is 
Well, there's a few things I don't like. Unfortunately, his crotch is just dangling out there. I don't like the paint, the fact that you don't have a cod piece. Don't have any arms, even though it does have these weird joints on there. The little Minicon gimmick still works. I, nope. Can't say that it does, so I'm made a liar out of me. Oh, also, I forgot there's thrust seal sticker sheet. Notice that it looks nothing like that. And it does come with an instruction sheet. Alright, where was I? Okay, cool. Oh yeah, thrust. Let's move his arms out. You can position them here. And he will fire. Oop. Sorry, I caused it to fire. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna have focus on thrust here. The guy does stand up okay. Nothing bad. Thrust isn't too bad either. I like the green, and the thing about this is that he he rolls a while well enough. Transformation for this guy is relatively simple, but he does have a weird alt mode, and I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to roll that down. Yeah. yeah, never a big fan of alt modes that are like that. Then his cab just rolls down like that. Then we're going to flip this around, and these tabs right here tab into here. And yep, you guessed it. Spring loaded. So. So, all you have to do is. There's this alt mode. Yeah. Stretch. Definitely a stretch. Transformation, relatively simple. I already have them from here. So, as you can see, these fold down. That's his arms. Legs fold in. And he's not bad looking. You can put a little gun if you want, or sorry, missile. Oh, look, you need a long missile. There you go. Hey, whatever. And trust me, his little huge backpack, he's not going to be able to stand up. So, in order to stand him up, get rid of the backpack. He'll stand up. I do like a color, screen, uh, color scheme, dark green. <laughs> Very, I don't know what color green, mint green, and then these other green, lime green. Yeah, I like the green. The mo hands are molded, so it's not too bad. Minicon's not bad. And there you go, he stands up. As far as his big boy master, what do you call it, Cyclonus? Yeah, what a freaking mess. Really? Head does move 360. You make him a cone head if you want, whatever. I like that the fact that they tried to mold the eyes, shoulder. Good. I like the detailing on the shoulder. It moves up side to side, single joint, but no hands. As you can see, you have these weird orange. And that is what I really don't like about the figure. So. Does have waist articulation, ball jointed hips, swivel on the knee, and a ball joint on the knee, and of course a ankle swivel. So it's not horrible. I mean, it, it, it is okay. Nothing bad about the figure. Could be better. I mean, it is what it is. As for size comparison, there he is with Megatron. And he's slightly shorter. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got. And I'll catch y'all next time. Oh, 6 out of 10 for this bad boy.